Hello, and welcome to another episode of Turning Sparkly Cardboard Sideways. My name's Jimmy, Bancroft is behind the camera, and right here will be my personal phone number, 859-279-2405. If you have any questions, concerns, critiques on any deck profile or battles we post, uh, please feel free to send me a message, or if you just want to say hi or share some of your deck tech, deck list ideas, please send me a message, and I'll try to reply as quickly as possible. Thank you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the, hey, well, that's why I'm glad I, st I messed up beforehand, anyways, it works. Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Attack and Production. Today I, Bancroft, am here and will be slapping Jimmy in the face in 3, 2, Bancroft here from Attack and Production. got Jake with us today. Uh, at our local today, Jake had actually made a deck using the, Sun, the Black Sun Goku with Double Strike on the Awakened side. Um, this deck is really cool and it shut down my deck with one card. Alright, Jake, let's go into it, jerk. Oh, <laughs> this is Son Goku. Uh, this is the Xeno version. Auto, burst three, uh, pick up a life, and draw a card. Kind of like Gotenks, but you get to burst three. Backside, double strike, plus 5k for each eight black cards in your warp. And you can put cards from your warp back in your drop area and draw a card. So we play four of these, although I only own three. This is the uh, best unison for this deck. This is the Gohan. Let's you put cards from your warp back in your drop area to keep overwhelming. And then the minus three, it's not super powerful, but it's super achievable. And it lets you reload overwhelms that you've already used. Really, really underrated card. So... Speaking of Overrealm, we have three of these trunks, two of this trunk, two Mass Sands, three Bardocks, three Foos, three Gokus, two more Bardocks, although if you have another Bardock, play it like that. And then one scientist and one dimensional banisher. You want to overwhelm every single turn with this deck. And honestly, the biggest problem I've found so far is not having enough things to do with your energy. You might have three or four energy and nothing to spend it on because all of your overwhelms cost one. And then there aren't really good generic black battle cards to play. So, with that being said, uh, Jimmy used to run. Black Mass Sand back in the day, and he learned that he can actually do that deck with only two energy. So, like, kind of stop charging early? Maybe. Uh, it's pretty risky for me. I've done that before on the channel and been burned by it, so Fair. I think I'm going to charge energy for now. Fair enough. And then we've got some more interesting battle cards. These Gokus, they evolve on top of our Xenos, so if we overwhelm the 6 drop in and then Xeno Evolve, a Xeno Evolve actually removes it from the board so it won't uh, get overwhelmed away at the end of the turn. So that's something to consider with this guy. Um, hatches, let you mill. Uh, I'd play a third if I had it, but I don't. Haru Haru. Really good against green and yellow, and this is not the card that shut Bancroft down, although it was maybe included because I thought he might maybe be playing Garlic Jr. And I, I told everyone that, like, countless amount of times. Yeah, so hard, hard. <laughs> <laughs> and then four time agents, as always, I put this in every, like, Black Saiyan mill deck. Uh, it's free value if you hit it. If you don't hit it, it goes to the energy. It doesn't take anything away from you. Except spots in your deck. Which is not nothing. Yeah. Then we've got Deborah counterplays. Uh, remote serious bomb for removal because there are some really tough battle cards right now that can't be KO'd. So you KO the cards around them and then warp with remote serious bomb. Then dark power black mass same. After today, this is probably going to four. This is what shut uh, Garlic Jr. down. So if you're playing best of three, uh, you need to uh, play Crash's Crushers. Yep. Or play four of these when you run up against Garlic Jr. and board them in. Yeah. Next, we've got Super Combos. I went with Supreme Kai of Time World's Protector. You're always going to have five cards in your warp pretty much turn two on in this deck. And uh, with Bibbity being in like the weird spot it's in, I would rather know how much power I'm getting and draw a card than have a variable uh, super combo. Yeah. 
Wow, my arm is shaking for some reason. Oh no. There we go. Three more Xeno Gokus, just because it's it's in every black deck at this point, I think, and they go with the five drop, and then power bursts to recur these and the dark power black mass sands, and it's just a killer negate. Yeah, it's not bad, man. That's the list, guys. It's not bad at all. So thanks, Jake. Um, you went two one, right? Two one. Tied for third place. Not bad, not bad. With that being said, thanks for tuning in. Thank you for hopefully liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell to let yourselves know when we drop more content for you. And pretty much this week is definitely set to set 11 stuff, so look forward to more and more profiles. And you didn't make it on, on stream today, did you? Or on camera? No, not today. Okay, hopefully next week you maybe. guys see this deck in action, or maybe a different version of this deck, or maybe a different take. I got a, I got a crazy jeering build I want to show you guys too. So. so look forward to that. Like always, know your cards, read your cards, know your plays, fluff out. Remember to vote. Oh yeah, you have a thing now too. Remember to vote. It's important. It is, definitely important. Now, read your cards, know your plays, fluff out.